Shed engineering, but not as you know it. Fitting and adjusting new valves. Hello there, Alan Plum here with a little more from Shed Engineering. Here we're going to uh, try and do something with the valves. If you uh, look at the clip here, she's going through bottom dead centre very very smoothly just there. But then as she goes over top dead centre she's really struggling. Well I've tried to uh, fiddle around with the valves with not a lot of success so I'm going to take them out and uh, fit some smaller ones and this is how I went about it. If you've watched some of the other videos then you will have seen how um, she is really struggling just after top dead centre so I've removed uh, the valves transferred the spacings to a uh, to a paper pattern and if we place that on the other plan that I've made of the spacings of the ports then when the valves are down in the bottom position uh, you might be able to see here that the valve is not completely open and so it's not fully exhausting and here the valve is still partly covering the port and so you're not getting the full amount of airflow into that port we've got 36 millimeters of travel which takes it to there I've got a little pencil line and so in that position just there again here the valve is still partly covering the port and so you're not getting again the the full airflow into the cylinder and the same here the valve is partly covering the port um, and so you're restricting the exhaust so what I'm intending to do is reduce the size of the valves by a little bit I'm going to try that the present valves are 27 mil I'm reducing them to 23 as shown on this plan here that will be one and that will be the other I cast several of those like three different sizes when I when I cast them and so now with the T-bar stop uh, on the top of the valve tube hopefully you'll be able to see that in that position the valve will be almost completely open and if we have uh, 40 mils of travel that will take it to approximately there and you'll see that the valve is clearing the port both top and bottom allowing bat better uh, flow into the cylinder and a better exhaust so I'm now going to take these valves off the valve stem and replace them with the smaller valves and then try setting it up so we can have a little run and see whether there's any improvement 
Okay then, I've swapped the uh, two valves over and obviously spaced them up according to my plan and now hopefully um, when we refit it we'll be getting full airflow in and hopefully full exhaust. So now what I've got to try and do is alter the amount of travel I've got from what was 36 mil now to 40 mil and so I shall have to try and adjust the crank to give us that bit extra travel. Right I'm just going to clean out the valve tube because it did feel a little bit a little bit gritty as if some bits of dust or grit had got in there and then underneath the floor that's where the tube comes out and then I'm just going to grease Grease the uh, valves a little bit and we'll pop the valves down into the valve tube wipe off the excess grease now we have to adjust this bottom crank to try and give us that bit extra uh, travel. So we'll just try and do in this I have to get myself some proper little spanners Undo that, move it out a little bit, so the extra distance there should give us some extra travel. Now refit the, the push rod. Try not to drop the nut down the valve tube. I've got to measure from that position to see how much travel we've got when it's fully extended to there and that's reading 44 so I'll we'll just loosen that and just move it back a fraction. Forty two. Now we'll try it somewhere just there. Right, let's fire up the vacuum cleaner and see whether see whether we can get it to go right then the valves that 
12 o'clock. That's 11 o'clock. That's 10 o'clock ish. Quarter to, and the air's just coming through. And she's away. And she's running a lot, lot smoother. I'm sure you can see how she's going through top dead centre a lot smoother. Although I don't honestly think she sounds quite as good. I hope you found it interesting. And thank you very much for watching.